Okay, so now let us solve some examples on supplementary angles. Now the problem below says find the pairs of supplementary angles from the examples below. So what is our criterion for supplementary angles? It is the sum of two angles, right? The sum of two angles that is let us say that the two angles are angle X and angle Y and their sum whenever it is equal to 180 degrees then they are known as supplementary angles now let us start with the first one so we let's say that the first one is angle X this is X and this is Y so we will try for the first one here and just to reduce the confusion let me just draw a straight line over here and over here okay so let's look at the first part here the first part so we have angle X plus angle Y that equals to 110 plus 50 which is equal to 160 now we know that 160 is not equal to 180 degree therefore I can say that these angles are not supplementary angles or they are not supplement to each other <clears throat> let us look at second so in this case we have again we will try out the angle X plus angle Y and in this case let's take X to be 105 degrees and then we have 65 right so 105 plus 65 when I solve this we add this we will get 170 now again 170 degrees is not equal to 180 degrees therefore the sum of these two angles that is 105 plus 65 is not equal to 180 degree therefore these two angles are not supplementary angles they are not let us look at the third problem so we in this case we have the sum angle X plus angle Y equals to 50 degrees plus 130 degrees and when I add this it is equal to 180 degrees therefore the pair of angles in 3 they are supplementary angles let us look at fourth so we have angle X plus angle Y right so we add 45 degrees plus 45 degrees right because the measure of these two angles that is given here is 45 degrees when I add this it comes out to be 90 degrees so 90 degrees is not equal to 180 degree therefore these are not the supplementary angles in fact if you see these are these two when added right they are complementary angles because they the sum equals to 90 degree Okay, now let us look at another example so here we are told that what will be the measure of the supplement of each of the following angles so we are given these four angles and we need to find out the supplement of this angle so before that let us do a bit of partitioning so that makes our work easy and here is what it is so let us look at first one which is 100 degrees but before we even look at I would just like to reiterate the fact that the criterion for supplementary and two angles being supplementary is angle X plus angle Y equals 180 degrees so we will use this to solve these problems given over here so let us start with the first one in which let us say that the angle X is equal to 100 degrees right now we need to say that angle X plus angle Y equals 180 degrees right because this is the supplementary angle criterion that we have to give here now substituting 100 degrees for X and we have angle Y it is equal to 180 degrees 
Now this again is a simple algebraic equation and we can transpose this 100 degrees to the other side, right? So we will have angle Y equals 180 degrees minus 100 degrees or we have angle Y to be 80 degrees. Therefore, 80 degrees is the supplement for 100 degrees. That is the solution to this one. Let us look at the second part which says 90 degrees right now this one is pretty intuitive I mean it is a right angle right any angle that measures is a right angle and we if you remember we did discuss that when we add two right angles they always equal to 180 degree right so they are supplementary two right angles will always be supplementary of each other so still if we want to go by the method what we do is angle X plus angle Y equals 180 degrees right where angle X being 90 degrees and angle Y being unknown we get this equation we transpose 90 degree from the left hand side to the right hand side this is transposed there so we will have angle Y equals 180 degrees minus 90 degrees which actually gives us angle Y to be 90 degrees therefore the supplement of 90 degrees is 90 degrees let us look at the third problem here angle X equals 55 degrees right so applying the same criteria angle X plus angle Y being equal to 180 degrees substituting for angle X 55 degrees plus angle Y gives us 180 degrees transposing 55 degrees to the other side we have angle Y equals 180 minus 55 and now when we subtract this so 10 minus 5 gives me 5 8 becomes 7 minus 5 gives me 2 and then 125 right so 125 degrees is the supplement of 55 degrees now let us look at the fourth problem in which angle X equals 125 degrees now if you just have a look at this one intuitively you will know that the supplement of 125 must be 55 degrees but if you want to confirm it we can just go ahead and apply a logic of the sum angle X plus angle Y being equal to 180 degrees angle X being 125 and angle Y being unknown we have this equation 125 degree plus angle Y equals 180 degree now transposing 125 to the other side we have angle Y equals 180 degrees minus 125 degrees and when we carry out this subtraction right so we have 10 minus 5 is 5 8 becomes 7 7 minus 2 is 7 minus 2 is 5 right and 1 minus 1 is 0 so we have 55 degrees so as you can see we got it to be 55 degrees now an interesting pattern if you can note here it is related to the observation that we did earlier when we were discussing about the supplementary angles so the second example here right it simply shows that two right angles will always be supplementary that is what we concluded and other than that if you see that it other than this combination we always need one acute angle and one obtuse angle to form a supplementary angle pair so here you can see that we have 100 degrees which is an obtuse angle and 80 degrees which is an acute angle let's look at the example third where we have 55 degrees which is an acute angle 125 degrees which is an obtuse angle similar is the case for example fourth as well right so this was part one of some examples 
on supplementary angles. We'll continue to discuss one more problem involving the supplementary angles.